Hi folks, welcome to today's coaching nugget. Today we will tackle the topic of the duration of power naps and longer sleep breaks during ultracycling and bikepacking events. Typically, we try to avoid sleeping while racing, but nonetheless, it's very helpful to have a good sleep strategy at hand. At the end of this coaching nugget, you will know how our sleep stages develop during the course of a night and you will understand why it's not enough to simply time your duration of longer breaks as a multiple of 90 minutes. Let's dive into it. First, we'll have a short look on the power of napping before we tackle longer sleep breaks. What can be expected by a strategy using short power naps? Well, naps are a well-suited tool to boost your cognitive abilities and alertness. On the other hand, they are not suited for actual physical recovery. So a nap will not reduce the fatigue of your muscles during a race. Moreover, it is not possible to exercise how to cope with sleep deprivation. Consequently, it's not helpful to restrict one's own sleep in preparation for ultracycling and bikepacking events. By contrary, these measures would reduce your body's capability to recover and thus diminish your physical performance. A better idea is to increase your amount of sleep prior to a race. Try to get one or two hours more sleep every night the week prior to race day. This will help you maintain your alertness level for a prolonged period of time during the race. A nap should last between 10 to 25 minutes. Shorter breaks have proven to be ineffective and longer breaks will make it harder to get started again. You will see why when we come to the sleep cycle with its different stages. Lastly, prepare yourself for a short period of disorientation after coming back from a nap. This may last for up to 15 minutes. Now. Let's get to the planning of longer sleep breaks. Especially in really long bikepacking events, a strategy solely based on power naps will probably not be possible. It is important to know that our sleep cycle is compromised of four sleep stages. You will go through the whole cycle and each stage four to six times per night. The first stage is called N1 and is the phase with the lightest sleep. Our muscles are still tense, but breathing gets slowly regular. This stage lasts one to five minutes. In the second stage, heartbeat slows down. At the same time, our body temperature drops as well. The sleep deepens. This stage lasts about 25 minutes in the first cycle. Afterwards begins the real deep sleep stage. This is the most important one, since here the actual recovery is taking place. In the first cycle, the N3 stage lasts about 60 minutes. The last stage is called REM or Rapid Eye Movement stage. As the name already suggests, the eyes are starting to move beneath the lids. This is the stage of active dreaming. Our breath gets irregular again and the heartbeat increases. It lasts for 10 minutes in the first cycle. It's most important not to interrupt the deep sleep. Otherwise, you will have a strong feeling of disorientation. Naps end in N2 before we even enter the deep sleep for the first time. Longer breaks, on the other hand, end in REM because our body functions are already pretty close to our awake status in this stage which facilitates the process of waking up. Let's have a look on a longer sleep break covering one cycle. It starts with one to five minutes in N1 stage, followed by 25 minutes in N2. Afterwards, our body can recover for about 60 minutes in N3. Then we have a time window of approximately 10 minutes to wake up from our REM stage. All in all, the first sleep cycle takes 90 to 100 minutes. If we compare this to the second sleep cycle, we notice an increase in the duration of N2. The deep sleep phase stays more or less the same, whereas REM increases to about 15 minutes. 
If you want to sleep for two cycles, it is consequently important to notice that it is not simply two times 90 minutes. Rather, two cycles have a duration of about 190 to 200 minutes. To wake up from REM stage, even if you sleep for more than one cycle, has the highest priority. Thus, try to gain experience on how your sleep stages develop over the course of the night. Now, let's wrap this up. Naps are a powerful tool to enhance your cognitive abilities and alertness. They last for about 10 to 25 minutes. Longer sleep breaks should be timed according to your sleep cycle and sleep stages. You have four sleep stages and want to wake up in the REM stage. The duration of each stage changes during the course of the night. Therefore, you need to gain experience to know your individual sleep stages. And to be honest, sleep and deriving a personalized sleeping strategy for ultracycling and bikepacking events can be pretty complex. Therefore, if you haven't done yet, I highly recommend to watch my latest video where I show you some methods to increase and to improve your overall sleep quality. See you next time. Ciao, Stefan.